Johnny, it was a good day all around for Penn State. Purdue is certainly down on its luck, not a very good team, but you know, Penn State came out, took care of business, took control of this game early, and I mean, there's no other place really to start than with the one and only Tyler Warren. Like, what he can do, whether it's a good team, whether it's a bad team, you just can't account for him, and he, his impact, and I know James talked about it, I know you're going to be writing about it, but I can't imagine there are, I don't know, maybe there might be five or six better players in the country at different positions, but I don't, I can't come up with many more than that. He's just incredible. Yeah, you said it was a good day for Penn State. It was. It was a bad day for Purdue's defense because they had Tyler Warren coming in here, and now the lights are flickering <laughs> nice. in the middle of this video. We'll just keep rolling. Yeah, yeah, Joe, get, get some of that. There we go. <laughs> Uh, as soon as we started talking about Tyler Warren and his, and his Heisman <laughs> yeah. uh, conversation, because, yeah, I asked James Franklin, yeah. like, should he be in the Heisman conversation? And uh, he's not listed on any of the, you know, the, the websites in terms of, uh, you know, sports books and all that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that might change uh, tonight or tomorrow uh, because, you know, talking to his teammates and now the stadium goes <laughs> fully dark. Uh, <laughs> Tyler Warren deserves to be in that conversation. 190 total yards tonight. We, we, the only way out is through, Bob. We're just going to keep doing this thing. Uh, Tyler Warren, 190 total yards, two touchdowns. I think on 11 touches. Had the 48-yard run that yeah. you mentioned. Uh, you know, double pass. He gets in the end zone twice. The guy just does it all. And, and there were other contributors on this Penn State offense today. Drew Aller had two incompletions uh, and looked super you know, efficient and precise. Uh, yeah. Luke Reynolds got in the end zone. That was your call. Uh, I think Nick Singleton actually played pretty well. Even yeah. though he only got nine touches for 60 total yards. Uh, so overall, it was a great offensive performance, over 500 yards, and you put up, yeah. what, 40-odd points. Yeah. So. I, I also think that you know, James had a really in-depth answer to your question, and yeah. he kind of circled back to it later. Yeah. And I think it's just real important for the fans to know that as, as athletic as, as – Warren is the teammate that he is, the way that he impacts the game as a blocker, and also James talked about his football IQ and what he does as the Wildcat quarterback and how he how he can keep, he, he's established he can throw the ball. Like as you, if you're a defense, you just can't assume he can, he's just going to do no. one thing. No. Um, he is. I, I I know there's been a lot of good tight ends at Penn State. It sounds like a broken record, but what he does and how he does it and how he makes it look so easy is real. It's that's really really hard to do. Uh, just to just to switch over to the defensive side. Yeah. Now that denied Dennis Sutton, he's not 100. percent He's getting very very close, and you could see it out on the field. I know this was not a good offensive line, but when these two guys are humming, it, it can be really tough. Drew Shelton yeah. said in practice. Like it, it's it's it, it's a nightmare situation because they're different players and you just don't know which one's going to go off. But chances are one of them is going to go off. And and James actually talked about Abdul Carter getting held because it seems as the season has gone on, he's got 17 and a half tackles for loss. It's getting worse by the week, and they're not calling it. There was like five straight plays <clears> tonight <throat> where it looked like he got held. I mean, I yeah. it, it's been it's been all season long, and and he's continued to fight through it. Yeah. And the numbers that he's putting up yep. are insane. But you know, he he would have you know, three, four, maybe five more sacks yeah. this year, if not more, yep. uh, if not for, you know, misholding, you know, if he wasn't getting held. Denied Dennis Sutton, mm -hmm. though, that's a big one because, yeah. you know, at the Wisconsin game, picks up that injury, yeah. uh, you know, really limited against Ohio sure. State and Washington. I think he played 13 total snaps in those two games. Yeah. And then he comes out here, he gets a sack on the first drive uh, that Purdue had. I thought that was a real tone setter, yeah. you know, not only for this defense, but for him going down this home stretch now mm -hmm. where you go on the road to Minnesota, <clears> you, you finish up at home against Maryland. And then if you win those two games, like you're in the college football playoff, yeah. And then you're playing a, a really high-level team, and you need those two DNs, those two yeah. edge rushers, you know, just really on their business. And, and yeah. they, they were tonight, and Abdul has been for a while. Yeah. Uh, but deny rounding in a form, yeah. I think, is a huge deal for this defense. Yeah, he did, he did say he did say that it, it, could, it would have been easy for him to maybe sit out the last couple of games before this one because the injury probably was that significant, but he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to let his teammates down. He gave it his best shot, and he, did, he said he thinks that next week – he will be almost 100%. So that is bad news for the Minnesota offensive line. But that could be a different kind of challenge. I don't want to look ahead. I think Penn State should enjoy this win. And uh, I think the lights out might be a signal. To I, I, think, I think they're telling us to get off the field. So we'll, we'll do that. Uh, Penn State wins 9-1. Nine, nine and one, uh, yeah. Well on their way to the college football playoff. Minnesota up next.